Fish can be a fantastic source of lean protein and healthy fats, but not all fish are created equal. In this video, we'll explore the worst fish for diabetes according to the latest studies, so make sure to watch till the end. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Let's talk a bit about why fish can be such an essential part of a balanced diet, especially for those with diabetes. Fish is high in omega-3 fatty acids, which have been shown to improve heart health, reduce inflammation, and even help regulate blood sugar levels. This makes fish an excellent choice for individuals with diabetes, who are at an increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease. In addition, fish is typically low in unhealthy fats and high in lean protein, making it a great option for maintaining a healthy weight and managing blood sugar levels. Now let's start with some of the best fish for diabetes. Salmon. Salmon is often considered the king of fish when it comes to health benefits. This fatty fish is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids, which can help protect your heart and support overall health. Wild-caught salmon is the best option, as it typically has higher levels of omega-3s and fewer contaminants compared to farmed salmon. Enjoy salmon grilled, baked, or broiled for a delicious and nutritious meal. Sardines. These small fish pack a big punch when it comes to health benefits. Sardines are another excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids, as well as being high in calcium, vitamin D, and protein. They're also low in mercury, making them a safe choice for regular consumption. Sardines can be enjoyed fresh or canned. Just be sure to choose canned sardines packed in water or olive oil, rather than in sauces high in added sugars or sodium. Mackerel. Mackerel is another fatty fish with an impressive omega-3 fatty acid content. These healthy fats can help lower inflammation and support heart health. When shopping for mackerel, look for Atlantic mackerel, which is a more sustainable choice and lower in mercury than other varieties. Enjoy mackerel grilled, baked, or even smoked for a flavorful and healthy addition to your diet. Herring. Herring is a small, oily fish that is also rich in omega-3 fatty acids. This fish can be a great addition to your diet if you're looking to boost your intake of healthy fats and lean protein. Like sardines, herring can be found fresh or canned, and it's important to choose options packed in water or olive oil, rather than sugary or salty sauces. Trout. Trout, particularly rainbow trout, is another excellent fish choice for those with diabetes. This fish is high in omega-3 fatty acids and provides a good amount of lean protein. When possible, opt for wild-caught trout over farmed, as it tends to have higher nutritional content and fewer contaminants. Now that we've covered some of the best fish for diabetes, let's dive into the ones that aren't as beneficial. Tilapia. While tilapia is a lean fish that is relatively low in fat, it's not the best choice for those with diabetes. This is because it has a lower omega-3 fatty acid content compared to other fish, and farmed tilapia can also contain higher levels of unhealthy fats. If you choose to eat tilapia, try to opt for wild-caught varieties and enjoy it in moderation. Catfish. Catfish can be a controversial choice when it comes to fish for those with diabetes. While it does provide lean protein, its omega-3 fatty acid content is relatively low compared to other fish. In addition, farmed catfish may contain higher levels of contaminants, which can be harmful to your health. If you decide to include catfish in your diet, opt for wild-caught varieties and consume them in moderation. Swordfish Swordfish is a large, predatory fish that can be high in mercury, a heavy metal that can negatively impact your health when consumed in large amounts. Due to its high mercury content, Swordfish should be eaten sparingly, especially for those with diabetes, who may be more susceptible to the negative effects of heavy metals. If you enjoy the taste of swordfish, consider trying a lower mercury alternative like salmon or trout. Orange Ruffy Orange Ruffy is another fish that is best avoided by those with diabetes due to its high mercury content. In addition, Orange Ruffy has a lower omega-3 fatty acid content compared to other fish, making it a less optimal choice for supporting heart health and managing blood sugar levels. When looking for a white fish alternative, consider options like cod or halibut, which are lower in mercury and have a higher omega-3 content. And now we've reached the worst fish for diabetes. King Mackerel King Mackerel is a large, predatory fish that is particularly high in mercury, making it the worst fish choice for those with diabetes. Consuming fish high in mercury can lead to negative health effects, 
especially for individuals with diabetes, who may already be at an increased risk of developing other health complications. Instead of king mackerel, choose smaller fish like Atlantic mackerel, sardines or herring, which are lower in mercury and higher in omega-3 fatty acids, may lower your risk of heart attacks and strokes. Heart attacks and strokes are the two most common causes of premature death in the world. Fish is considered one of the most heart-healthy foods you can eat. Unsurprisingly, many large observational studies show that people who eat fish regularly have a lower risk of heart attacks, strokes, and death from heart disease. In one study of more than 40,000 men in the United States, those who regularly ate one or more servings of fish per week had a 15% lower risk of heart disease. Researchers believe that fatty types of fish are even more beneficial for heart health due to their high omega-3 fatty acid content, may help prevent and treat depression. Depression is a common mental condition. It's characterized by low mood, sadness, decreased energy, and loss of interest in life and activities. Although it isn't discussed nearly as much as heart disease or obesity, depression is currently one of the world's biggest health problems. Numerous controlled trials also reveal that omega-3 fatty acids may fight depression and significantly increase the effectiveness of antidepressant medications. Fish and omega-3 fatty acids may also aid other mental conditions, such as bipolar disorder. Fish may improve sleep quality. Sleep disorders have become incredibly common worldwide. Increased exposure to blue light may play a role, but some researchers believe that vitamin D deficiency may also be involved. In a six-month study of 95 middle-aged men, a meal with salmon three times per week led to improvements in both sleep and daily functioning. The researchers speculated that this was caused by the vitamin D content, delicious and easy to prepare. Fish is delicious and easy to prepare. For this reason, it should be relatively easy to incorporate it into your diet. Eating fish one or two times per week is considered sufficient to reap its benefits. If possible, choose wild-caught fish rather than farmed. Wild fish tends to have more omega-3s and is less likely to be contaminated with harmful pollutants. Salmon can be prepared baked, fried, seared, or boiled. It pairs well with a multitude of vegetables and grains. In conclusion, when managing diabetes, it's essential to make informed decisions about the fish you include in your diet. Opting for fish high in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon, sardines, mackerel, herring, and trout can help support your heart health and maintain stable blood sugar levels. However, it's important to avoid fish with high mercury content, such as swordfish, orange roughy, and king mackerel, as well as those with lower omega-3 content like tilapia and catfish. By understanding the best and worst fish for diabetes, you can make healthier choices that will benefit not only your diabetes management, but also your overall well-being. Remember that moderation is key, and always consult with your healthcare team if you have any concerns about your diet and diabetes management. Enjoy incorporating these delicious and nutritious fish options into your meals and reap the benefits of their health-promoting properties. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content about diabetes and nutrition. Stay healthy and take care.